your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good Tuesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. Two people were arraigned earlier today, accused of assaulting an autistic child on a school bus last week in Springfield. In court today, Western Mass News learned the child, an 11-year-old nonverbal autistic boy, was allegedly hit by Judy Cuban, a bus monitor, while the driver, William Kane, watched, encouraging the assault and refusing to stop the bus. Prosecutors say they have footage of the incident. The alleged incident took place on a van pool bus, and the Wilbraham-based company says both suspects no longer work for them. Agawam is mourning the death of a 17-year-old high school student who drowned late last night. Officials say he died after swimming in a pool at a private home in Feeding Hills. First responders arrived to the scene around 11.30 last night to find the male victim unresponsive. Agawam High School says counselors are available for any students who feel the need to talk to someone. The Carter family says former First Lady Rosalind Carter has dementia. According to the Carter Center, she continues to live happily at home with her husband, former President Jimmy Carter. After spending years being a leader in mental health advocacy, the Carter family hopes sharing her diagnosis will prompt conversations to help people and their families get their necessary support. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown to check if your forecast. We do have an air quality alert that's been issued for all of Western Mass and actually the majority of the Bay State. This is expected to be up through tonight uh, till about midnight, but it could be reissued for tomorrow. The culprit is some wildfire smoke coming down from Nova Scotia, that plume of smoke coming into the area later this evening and lingering overnight. Now it's not looking overly thick, but it is going to cause some haze and smoky skies. Otherwise, it's mostly clear and cool with temperatures falling to the low 40s. Light wind expected for Wednesday will have mostly sunny skies, but skies may look hazy from time to time because of that lingering wildfire smoke. And again, there could potentially be some air quality issues across the area. Now, high pressure continues to dominate our weather and we start getting hotter through the end of the week. Temperatures look to approach lower 90s both Thursday and Friday. A cold front coming down from the north, bringing a chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm Friday late afternoon and evening. And a few showers now look to linger through Saturday morning, followed by some late clear and cooler temperatures. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.